If you pick just one night this year to go out and look up, make it tonight, September 27. If skies are clear, expect a delightful treat as a total eclipse of the moon occurs in rare circumstances that will render the moon slightly bigger than normal, a so-called supermoon. Here's how it will happen, to start with, there will be a full moon, which occurs every 29.5 days when the sun, earth and moon are pretty well lined up, with earth in the middle. Tonight, the moon is in just the right spot on its orbit which takes it above and below the plane of Earth's orbit around the sun so the alignment will be perfect, and Earth will cast its shadow across the face of the moon. In fact, full moons are never totally full, because when they would be, the moon is in total eclipse. As a bonus, the moon is at its closest point to Earth right now, so it will appear slightly larger than most full moons. Because the orbit of the moon is not a perfect circle, the moon is sometimes closer to the Earth than at other times during its orbit, explains Noah Petro, deputy project scientist for the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The effect is not dramatic, but it does look larger, Petro said. The combination of a total lunar eclipse with a supermoon last occurred in 1982 and won't happen again until 2033. When, where, and how to watch the eclipse will be visible across more than half the planet. North America is perfectly situated for an evening and late night sky watching treat. People across much of Europe, Africa, and Western Asia will have good seats, too. Watching a lunar eclipse requires no special equipment or knowledge. Just go out and look up. If skies are clear, the moon is of course impossible to miss. If you have a telescope, However, you can explore the moon's surface in detail while the eclipse plays out over a few hours. The dividing line between light and shadow on the moon which will be moving all evening leading up to the total phase is the perfect place to see lunar craters in stark contrast. To enjoy the full effect of the event, you'll want to take your first look as soon as the moon begins to rise in your location it will come up at sunset, no matter where you are. Then stay out or return periodically to see the Earth's shadow gradually gobble up the moon. In western states, the eclipse begins right around moonrise. Back east, you can have dinner first. In Europe, you may need an alarm. Here are the two most interesting moments, the moon enters Earth's full shadow, called the Umbra, starting at 9.07 p.m. EDT, 6.07 p.m. PDT. The total eclipse begins at 10.11 p.m. EDT, 7.11 p.m. PDT. Totality lasts an hour and 12 minutes, at which point a bright sliver of the moon will emerge and grow. Times will be a bit different depending on where in a time zone you are. On LifeSciences Sitespace.com, you can find full coverage of the supermoon eclipse, including details on timing, locations, more viewing tips and photos of the event during and afterward. For folks outside North America, the corresponding universal time when the moon enters the Umbra is 1.07 a.m. Monday morning, September 28. What to expect once the moon enters the Umbra, our favorite little satellite will appear to be swallowed gradually, as Earth's shadow, in the shape of a scallop, crosses the lunar surface. At the height of the eclipse during what's called totality the moon won't disappear. Rather, sunlight will bend through Earth's atmosphere.